assalamu alaikum uh, today's class is for arand the subject is zoology as you know in these days we are uh, reading our next uh, second unit which is cell structure and functions and today we have to discuss a topic among this unit which is structure of mitochondria mitochondria is one of the cellular organelles and we have to talk about this organelle today so what is mitochondria and i am pointing this time my camera towards a figure which is mitochondria which is a cellular organelle in our cell and this is the rough sketch of mitochondria first of all i may tell you that mitochondria was discovered by a scientist known as binda his name was binda in 1897 so in in uh, 1897 it was binda who named mitochondria and what are these mitochondria uh, they are the structures rather cellular organelles with double membranes you have to keep in your mind that mitochondria are the cellular organelles which are enveloped by two membranes that is it is a double membraned structure and the outer one is permeable and is stretched one and the inner one is semi permeable so here we have to see what is permeable and semi permeable so permeable membrane is the membrane which allows everything to pass through it but semi permeable is a membrane which allows only select two things means which allows certain things to pass through it and refuse others so when our mitochondria is a double membraneed uh, structure and out of these two membranes the outer membrane is permeable and the inner membrane is semi permeable and the inner uh, membrane the again important thing related to this is that it is a folding folded structure it shows some inner foldings rather it shows some inner finger like projections which lie towards the matrix of the mitochondria known as cristi known as cristi so here i want to show you that if this is our mitochondria this is our external membrane of mitochondria which is a stretched one and which is permeable means it allows anything to pass through it and this is the second coating rather second membrane of the mitochondria which is a semi permeable means which allows only certain things to pass through it but this second semi permeable rather inner membrane it shows some inner foldings these are the inner foldings so these inner foldings are finger like projections which face toward towards matrix so this is matrix so what is matrix matrix is simply the grounded substance of the mitochondria which contain certain enzymes ribosomes and other and these minerals like calcium magnesium and manganese etc so these inner finger like projections are foldings which face towards this matrix they are known as cristi they are known as cristi here i have pointed an inner inner finger like projections as cristi so you have to remember here that the second membrane which shows finger like inner finger like projections facing towards the matrix of the mitochondria it is and these finger like projections are known as cristi so this is 
inner and semi permeable membrane and further the cristae have a large number of bat like structures attached to it known as oxisomes here i want to show you this line <laughs> that suppose this is our one cristae this is our second cristae this is our third this is our fourth and so on these inner foldings or finger like projections which are known as cristae they bear stalk like structures with base with stalk and head bulb like structures inside this matrix which are known as oxisomes which are known as so these are the oxisomes which lie almost perpendicular to this cristae inside the matrix of the mitochondria so these are oxisomes and oxisomes when we are dealing when we are observing the structure of an oxisome this is a single oxisome here it is a rough diagram for it and it is having a base this is the base of the oxisome it is having a stalk upper like uh, structure which is vertical one upon this base and known as stalk and on this stalk there is a round structure which is known as head or bulb and this oxisome it is it possesses atpase enzymes and these oxisomes are known as f0 f1 particles f0 fn particles or they are also known as oxisomes or they are known as fernanda mora particles uh, this was regarding the structure of the oxisome and uh, the head of the oxisome is atpa region means this is the head of the oxisome and it contains all the atpa enzyme so this is the region which contains ATPs enzymes and furthermore about 70% of enzymes are present inside the mitochondria they are the set of replicating bodies with 7 to 10 days of lifespan the maximum number of enzymes of a cell almost 70% of enzymes of a cell they are lying inside this mitochondria and one more interesting thing about these mitochondria is that they are self replicating means they show replication they divide they form uh, automatic uh, mitochondria from their own ones but their life span is only 7 to 10 days means a mitochondria can live for 7 to 10 days and after that it shows and continuously it shows replication and by replication new mitochondria are formed and old ones decay fade away or they die after uh, passing their lifespan which is 7 to 10 days they are the second large and in most uh, next interesting thing is that you have to keep in mind that the second largest organelles of the cell they are mito Mitochondria, and they are present only in eukaryotes. These mitochondria, we will find these mitochondria only in eukaryotic cells, and they are not found in prokaryotic cells. And furthermore, they are very much absent in mature RBCs. Number one. They are not present in prokaryotic cells. That is, my the cells of microorganisms they are only found in eukaryotic, eukaryotic cells which i have told you yesterday what are prokaryotes and eukaryotes and furthermore these mitochondria they are absent they are not found in mature or we see red blood corpuscles which are the cells of our blood so our orbices are devoid of mitochondria that is they do not possess mitochondria huh. The number of mitochondria depends upon the metabolic activities of any organ. Uh, the organ which shows much mito uh, mitotic, uh, metabolic activities, more mitochondria are found there. 
and we shows less metabolic activities less number of mitochondria are found there because mitochondria are the organism which provide the energy to the cell and they are found about 300 to 400 in kidney cells 30000 in oocytes because in oocytes they have to show a maximum number of uh, oocytes have to show maximum number of metabolic activities because all the zygote and embryo formation take place inside the oocyte after the fusion of sperm with the egg nucleus. So the oocytes they possess a good number of mitochondria and also there are about 1000 to 1600 mitochondria present in liver cells. <laughs> Uh, furthermore, these oxysomes or these stalker structures or these F0, F1 particles, they are the sites where photophosphorylation take place. Photophosphorylation take place inside these oxysomes. And I have already told you that the grounded substance which is present inside the mitochondria, it is known as matrix. It is known as matrix. This is the matrix which contain circular DNA, which contain ribosomes, but which type? 70S ribosomes, which contain enzymes, which contain manganese, which contain magnesium ions, etc. And one more thing, this space between this external membrane of mitochondria and internal membrane of mitochondria, this space, it is known as perimitochondrial space. This space is known as perimitochondrial space, means the space which is present between the external membrane of mitochondria and the internal membrane of mitochondria, and this space is known as perimitochondrial space. So these were some uh, important aspects regarding the structure of the uh, mitochondria that Benda have uh, named this in 1897. They are double uh, enveloper structures. Outer one is this. It is permeable. This is inner one. It shows finger-like projections which are known as Christi and the Christi they possess uh, head like uh, blood like structure which are known as oxysomes or F0, F1 particles and all the Photophosphorylation take place inside this, and these uh, head oxysomal heads or bulbs, they are the regions which possess ATP is enzymes, and this is the matrix of the mitochondria which possess DNA, which possess RNA, which possess enzymes, which possess manganese, which possess magnesium, and which possess 70 S ribosomes. And this space between external membrane and internal membrane is known as peri mitochondrial space. And this oxysome, which is which lies almost uh, perpendicular to this Christi, this have a structure like this. This is the space, this is the stalk, and this is the head or bulb. And this head or bulb, it is the region which contains ATPase enzymes. And these oxysomes are known as F0, F1 particles or Fernandes Mora particles. So, this was uh, the important things regarding the structure of the mitochondria and now we will proceed on to see what are the functions of the mitochondria because this mitochondria it is very important cellular organelle and it is uh, also again a question important question which uh, is mostly asked uh, in the examinations in the exams uh, the question may come like what give the structure of mitochondria or what are the functions of the uh, mitochondria or draw a neat and labeled diagram of st structure of mitochondria regarding the structure of mitochondria what are oxysomes what are the functions of the oxysomes certain type of questions regarding from this topic may be asked in the examination so we'll pre we, uh, students we will proceed up uh, towards the functions of the mitochondria Number one, they are called as the powerhouse of the cell because all the ATPs are stored inside it. Mitochondria is a cellular organelle which contains all the ATPs, adenosine, triphosphate, and these ATPs, they possess all the energy of the cell, which is released there after oxidation, and the energy is stored in these ATPs. Hence, this mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell, and this objective is very much uh, asked 
that which of the following cellular organ is known as powerhouse the uh, powerhouse of the cell so you had to remember it is mitochondria not chloroplast not uh, golgi bodies not this uh, endoplasmic reticulum but it is mitochondria which is known as the powerhouse of the cell because it contains all the atps inside it and the second function is that it is a site of cellular respiration means the cellular respira respiration the respiration which occurs inside the cell it occurs here inside this mitochondria and this is the second function of the mitochondria and number third during ovum formation yolk is developed by mitochondria when ova or egg is formed the yolk of that egg it is formed by these mitochondria and number third in sperm i have already told you we have already uh, discussed it the structure of sperm in our reproduction to, uh, unit so in uh, the uh, structure of sperm you have seen that a, a sperm is having a middle piece and it, this middle piece is formed by mitochondria a good number of mitochondria is present in middle piece because it is the site where mitochondria provide energy to the middle piece and which then provide it motility means in this sperm becomes motile and it needs energy and it is this middle piece of the sperm which holds a good number of mitochondria and which provide energy to it because it and this sperm had to swim from one place to another during copulation and our fourth function is that this mitochondria they store calcium ions and they are being released whenever they are needed and next function is that they are the sites of thermogenesis so what is thermogenesis thermogenesis is actually the process by which warm blooded animals release heat because this heat is needed by them suppose like uh, we human beings like eaves uh, they are warm blooded creatures they maintain the their inside body temperature to the outside environment and for the maintenance of this temperature they go undergo through a process which is known as thermogenesis and this thermogenesis huh, the, the main sites for this thermogenesis is mitochondria because this thermogenesis is shown by warm blooded animals in order to release the heat and keep mammals and all other warm blooded animals warm so students this was today's topic regarding structure of mitochondria who in name and it what are oxisomes what are their how which is um, their uh, structure what are the functions of oxisomes what are the functions of these mitochondria so hope you will have understood very well if uh, any query arises in your mind please feel free to contact me upon my number Nine nine zero six six nine four four zero two. Thank you. You are Zolly, sir.